While Link, you continue to impress. Not only have you obtained two of the pearls, but you have cleansed the islands of their evil. Oh, it was nothing, really. Now we must get to Great Fish Isle. There waits the Spirit Jaboon. He holds the last pearl, and if these two islands have revealed anything, it's that Ganon's influence has spread. Now, let us make haste. Do you think the island will be in trouble? Well, the trouble so far has been fairly contained, so I doubt anything too dreadful has occurred. By the gods. This is disastrous. People of this place. The land itself, broken beyond recognition. Link, I know this could be hard to bear witness to, but we must- WHERE THE HELL DID THAT BIRD COME FROM?! And that's where the great dragon Valu said Jaboon, the great fish, has gone. Greatly. Wow, back to Outset Island. I haven't been home in so long. This is going to be fun. The state of this island says otherwise, but I respect your optimism in these dark times. I just try not to think about it. Wait, what? So we just have to travel to Outset to find Jaboon, right? Um... Hmm? Oh, sorry, I was distracted by that corpse over there. Looks like it's giving me the stink eye. Wait, is that Bill? I owe him money! Well, that saved me $20. So, about Jaboon... Oh, right! Well, he sort of sealed himself in a cave on the south side of the island with a great slab. So great, not even the pirates could break through with their ship. They did have an impressive ship. Also, why would the pirates have tried to break through? Well, uh... That... Might have been my fault. So, you're saying there's a giant fish on Outside Island that's hoarding a ton of treasure? Excellent. I asked you where Link was. How did you get- Gonzo! We're shipping out! Shipping out, Miss Tetra. You're damn right we are. At least I... think it was my fault? Anyway, they made their way to Windfall Island in order to get bombs to blast their way in. Well, we certainly can't leave them to do as they please. If left alone, they might end up doing piratey things. Like singing their dreaded sea shanties. Or stealing the next pearl. That as well! Well, good luck to you, Link. And be careful. Something feels wrong about this island. As though a curse that will conveniently work in your favor lies upon it. Farewell! Well, I guess we should get going. You ready to get your sail on, King of Red Lions? You are acting remarkably chipper, despite being surrounded by all this death and destruction. Link, do you want to talk about something, or...? Actually, King of Red Lions, I'm trying to get us moving so that I, a child, don't have to stand in the middle of a corpse-festering, trauma-inducing island. Can we go now? Uh, yes! We can! Let's go! Embark time! Do it! This night is lasting unusually long. Still, we made it without much trouble. I just hope Link will be able to locate the pirates and kill their bombs so we can use them to open the gate to Jaboon. Though I'm certain I have nothing to worry over, Link is perfectly capable of finding them without fail or distraction. And the magic sail that increases the speed of one's boat goes to the young man with the fake mustache and monocle. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so handsome and rich. And young. Yes, he is. You're scary, lady. Once again, we thank everyone for taking part in this auction. The proceeds will go to helping me get my legs back from the child mafia. Oh, calm down. It's not like it's our fault you're in this predicament. Now, now. I mean, yes, you could blame Gonzo for breaking down your door, Nudge for knocking you unconscious, and Zuko for tying you up with rope. I'm ashamed of this blatant misuse of rope. You can't keep using all our rope on hookers, Zuko. I will never pay them! But really now, 
Why cast blame when you can instead remember the situation you're in? Motionless, helpless, inaudible. Why, you're in no shape to take care of yourself. That's why we're going to leave you in the capable hands of our dear shipmate, Senza. This safe word is Bumrush. Bumrush! Bumrush! Well, if you insist! <laughs> <laughs>
Mighty courageous of you to try to steal treasure from pirates. I hear voices in my head! They counsel me, they understand. Nope, in your pocket. <gasps> Just like the Pokemon. Oh, hey, Tetra. Long time no chat. Yes, it is I, the great pirate Captain Tetra, you remember, whom is feared across all the seas. She's talking to that rock again. Yeah, she does that. Just leave her be. So, what you been up to? Oh, you know, still trying to save my sister. Only now I'm trying to save the whole world along with her. Hmm. Ambitious. That's hot. However, you seem to rush into things without thinking. Going onto a pirate ship to steal from them is not a well-thought-out plan. In fact, the only reason you got those bombs was because we left a simple-minded rat like Nico to look after things. <laughs> you see, I call him a rat because of his stupid teeth. He's very self-conscious about them. Wait, so you're just letting me go with the bombs? Yes, but also no. You see, I have secretly stowed away more of our bombs in a location that you shall never find, no matter how many minutes you spend searching. Well, they can't be in your room, because I already checked there. You- what? Wait, wait, what did you see in there? What did you do in there? Did it smell nice? Tell me! I have to know! Oh, well, I didn't find much. Also, it smells like lilacs. Yes, I enjoy the scent of lilacs. Also, never go in there again! Unless I invite you. For reasons. Okie doke. Excellent! Now me and my crew are going to relax and do the chill in this town until morning comes. At that time, if you have not procured the treasure from that giant fish monster person, we shall descend upon your little island and raid it like the pirates we are! <laughs> It'll be fun. Wait, how are you going to know if I got the treasure yet or not? I don't know, I'll probably figure it out or something. So until then, object of my most carnal desires, until then! Well then, it seems my time is limited. Oh, we got all the time in the world. Wow, really? Indeed. You see, it seems as though a curse has befallen the seas, casting an eternal night and storm upon the world. It's like a plague of Moses and Noah. So how do we remove the curse? Once we find Jaboon, it should be removed. How do you figure? I don't know. Flawless logic. Very well! We shall set out immediately! Oh, by immediately, I guess the next episode. <laughs>